Algebra 1 9.1b, Roster and Set Builder Notation. These are set braces for a set, and they contain the elements of the set, the members of the set, and each element is separated by a comma. This symbol means it's an element of the set, and when there's a line through it, it means it's not an element of the set. So set D of my dog's ages would be D equals 6, 12, and 17, in the set braces, and because I don't have a dog that's five years old, five is not an element of D. See that? And there's two different ways that we can write sets. The set of natural numbers less than six, in roster notation, it would just be one, two, three, four, five. It just lists what's in the set. Those are the natural numbers that are less than six. But in set builder notation, the set of whole numbers greater than zero would be written as X and then a bar and then another x is a whole number, and x is greater than zero. And see how this gives the description of how the set is built. This is the variable x, and the bar means such that. Then we put the variable again and write is a whole number, and x is greater than zero. That's set builder notation. The way we would read this is the set of all x, that's what this little x up here is, such that, that's the bar, x, that's the second x, is a whole number and x is greater than zero, okay? Let me explain this a little more. The set builder notation gives a detailed description of how the set is built. It helps us to know precisely what's in the set. If we needed to write the set A of whole numbers less than six, in roster notation, the whole numbers less than six would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, see? Natural numbers don't have the zero. Set builder notation, we would write A, because that's the name of the set, equals X, and then the bar, and then X is a whole number, and X is, and then we put the less than sign, and then the 6, because it's less than 6. See? We can use letters to repre represent the sets of numbers. We can use N for all natural numbers, Z for all integers, Q for all rational numbers, and R for all real numbers. But, sadly, W does not represent whole numbers. It just doesn't. And I'll explain more about this in video uh, 9.1D when we talk about unions. I have a solution to this problem that a lot of mathematicians use, okay? So, if we needed to write the set B of natural numbers greater than 5 in roster notation, we would just write B equals 6, 7, 8, 9. We would use our dot, dot, dot that we learned about in the last video, our ellipsis, to mean and so on. It goes on to infinity, because those are all greater than 5. In set builder notation, we would write B equals X, and then our bar for such that X is a natural number and X is greater than 5, and then we would put our other set brace to close it. So just remember to use a capital letter for the name of the set, okay? No lowercase. Now, our variable here, this x, is lowercase, okay? Now, into higher math, this is what set builder notation looks like for higher levels of math like calculus. This is what they would do. For this same statement right here, the set b of natural numbers greater than 5, it would be written as b equals x such that x is an element of n for all natural numbers, see? We're using that capital N here. It's an element of the natural numbers. And X is greater than 5. And the way we'd read it is B is the set of all X such that X is an element of all natural numbers and X is greater than 5. This is how it breaks down. B, and then the equal sign is is, and then this is the set of all X. The bar is such that X is an element of all natural numbers, the comma means and, x is greater than 5. And then we close our set braces, see? You're going to be doing that when you get a little bit older, okay? We'll talk about that later on. So for now, for Algebra 1, let's just write the names of the types of the numbers. We'll just write is a natural number, okay? Is a whole number. So it would be b equals x, the bar x is a natural number, and x is greater than 5, okay? We'll just stick that way for now. If we needed to write the set C of prime numbers in roster notation, we would just list the prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and our dot, dot, dot ellipsis to mean and so on, right? The next one would be what, 17, right? 
and then 19. Set builder notation, we would write c equals x, our bar for such that x is a prime number. See? Now, in our next video, 9.1c, we're going to talk about intersection of sets and empty sets. And if you wanted to see the previous video, 9.1a, about sets and elements of a set, you can see the link in this description, and there's going to be a link to the Grade 8 Math 1.2b video that talks about sets and subsets of real numbers. So if you're confused about whole numbers, natural numbers, integers, rational numbers, real numbers, that video is going to help you, okay? All right, let's go to the next video and talk about intersections and empty sets. I'll see you there. Bye.